from Kinky Kid Tear Care and in today's video I have another very easy style that can be used on children who have short hair as well as long hair. I designed this style particularly for children who are growing in this short patch in the back if um, from having their baby bald spot. So let's get started. Um, first in the video I wanted to show you how I remove rubber bands in case you were wondering. So you can see how to remove them without pulling your child's hair out. So I just put this rubber band in her hair right here for demonstration purposes. And all you're going to need is a pair of scissors and a rat tail comb. So what you're going to do is just take the rat tail comb and you're going to fit it right under the rubber band like one of them. And make sure that when you lift it up you don't have any hair in there with it and you're just going to take your scissors and cut it and then you can just pull the rubber band out so that's how you remove a rubber band um, and it won't pull their hair out or anything like that so let's get started okay um i already moisturized and detangled her hair i've been doing the lco method that's the way I do it. It works better for her hair. It's uh, What I use is the Shea Moisture Extra Moisture Detangler for my leave-in. I then apply the Coconut and His Kids, Curls, Kids Curling Cream to her hair. And then I followed up with a oil blend. This is just black castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil, and olive oil. Okay? So I put those things in her hair first to get it really moisturized and seal in all the moisture. The only other thing you're going to need is some kind of pomade or gel if you like using gel for the hair. So let's get started. Okay, in the front, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here and just part straight across. Okay, I just changed the camera angle so you can see. So this is how I part of her hair in the front. Okay, so it's just straight all the way down. Okay, then you just take some clips and clip her hair out the way. So now I'm going to apply the curls control paste to her hair. Right here in the front. Now what we're going to do is create a flat twist in her hair, starting from this end and going all the way over to this end. If you don't know how to do a flat twist, I have a video showing you how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, so this is how the flat twist looks in the front. She was not behaving, so I couldn't do it all on camera. But again, there's a video explaining how to do it. I used a barrette just to secure it so it doesn't come undone. So we're going to continue on with the rest of her hair. Okay, turn this way. Well, actually, turn it. So what you're going to do is you're going to be making some box uh, parts or square parts. And you're going to decide where the middle of her head is. So I always start in the middle of her eyebrow as a guide to figure out where the middle of her head is. And then I will part straight back like this. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to just part straight down behind her ear. Now I'm going to just um, do what I do normally in the video. I'm going to put a little bit of pomade to clean this up a little bit and um, use my brush to smooth it. I'm going to put the rubber band in, the hair tie, two strand twist it, and then put a barrette on the end. 
and then I'll be back once okay, I'm so done. This is doing how this that. one turned out. So the next one I'm going to do is just going to go right next to this part, like this. Just parting straight across. So now you have another square part. Okay, so the same thing, we're gonna put our rubber band in. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this same part on the opposite side of her head on this side. And so basically she's gonna have three um, parts, two, three square parts right here. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to come back so you can see how I do the back of her okay, head. Okay, so now I am done with um, the front of her head. So what you're going to do is you're going to just use this part that's up in the front your head back as a guide and you're going to just part straight down like this and then we're going to go and like right here like about a mid way of her ear I'm going to go across like that okay is that why you're getting some of that longer hair that's in the back of her head to help disguise that um, spot that is still growing in so that's just another square and you're going to do that the same thing basically basically you're doing the same thing you did up here all the way across to this side so once I am done with the middle of her head, I'll be back to show you what it looks like and then we'll do the very okay, back. Okay, so now I'm done head. with the middle of her head. So what leaves is the, is the back. All you're going to do in the back is you're going to just pick a part straight down the middle and uh, do the same thing you did on both sides of her head. So just straight down the middle, just like that. Oh, I'm just about done with her hair. Everything's done. Um, I'll just have to add the finishing touch to her hair. So right here in the front where I did that flat twist, I took the barrette out that was holding the flat twist securely. And I'm going to be pitting this butterfly barrette that I made in her hair. I will be sharing a tutorial on how to do that in the near future. And I made this barrette to match her dress that she has on. She has on the butterfly garden dress from Sonata Elise Boutique, which is a um, clothing line that I actually own where I make clothes for little girls. So if you're interested in this dress, just visit me at SonataEliseBoutique.com. Okay, so let's put this in our hair now. Okay, so just. I'm just going to put it in however it looks nice to me, which is like that. Kind of like at an angle. And that's it. Turn and look at the camera. Hi. <laughs> So I hope this video was a great help to you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.